In episode one of UV boat conversion, I tried to lay out the um, process for what we intend to do. Uh, in this one, I'm strictly talking about the uh, renovation process of the boat. It was in really rough shape uh, when we got it and um, basically took a year to um, get it to a condition to start the conversion. So if, if you're strictly interested in um, the EV conversion part of it, uh, you can skip this one. Here we go. So here it is the uh, the day that I picked the boat up. Um, picked it up in Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, we found it on eBay for $565 for the boat and trailer. Um, so I think that was a pretty good deal, uh, even though uh, we know the boat was going to need a lot of work. So pulled the engine out. Um, we had mounted a big triple 2 by 10 in the overhead of the garage, and there were some entertaining moments um, trying to lift a 700-pound motor out with that low overhead. But um, we got it out and uh, no major problems. So the engine is out and um, I was hoping I could sell the parts on eBay so I broke it down and uh, listed all the parts and really didn't didn't get a whole lot of activity. I just sold a few of them. Um, the block was cracked and uh, we, uh, we kind of knew that so um, basically sold all the parts to someone here in the neighborhood for, for scrap cost. Got the motor out, and there's the uh, fuel tank that came out. Um, plywood deck is still there. That was in really rough shape. That was all totally water soaked. The um, flotation foam, um, most of that was in pretty good shape. Um, some of it was really soaked bad, um, but that's really tough stuff. It uh, it took a lot of effort to to get all the flotation foam out. And now we're we're looking at the stringers. The uh, stringers were also um, mostly totally water soaked. I uh, thought we were going to be able to save some, but not so much. Um, the motor mounts were in bad shape. Um, the stringers that the motor mounts um, were set into uh, were comprised of 2x4s, 4x4s, um, whatever scrap wood they could find. Um, the actual motor mount bolts went into the end grain of plywood. Um, I found some common 16 penny nails in there holding stuff together. Um, the stringers themselves were basically sitting on foam um, with just that one piece of uh, marine plywood on the inside there um, holding it up. Um, so it was a, a good thing we got all that out of there. So um, most of the uh, stringers and bulkheads are out. Those white blocks you see on the outside were, uh, I added those, those are PVC. Um, and then I've got a straight edge across there so that um, I was sure I could get a flat deck when all was said and done um, before I pulled those last stringers out. That turned out to be a good idea. Um, that really gave me um, a good line to work from as uh, we started to put the stringers back in. That's a couple of the stringers we pulled out. Um, just total mush um, inside there. So um, it's a project. Uh, new stringers are in. Um, it's three-quarter marine plywood for the stringers and a double layer of uh, three-quarter marine plywood for the bulkheads. Um, they're set in fiberglass putty um, with fiberglass fillets. Um, and then the next step is going to be to, um, you know, fiberglass those in. Um, don't have a whole lot of video on that. But they're going to be put in with 1708 fiberglass as well. So they'll be, um, the corners will be um, covered with 1708, uh, 1708 tabs into the hull, and then a fiberglass cloth um, over the top of the stringers. Uh, once again, I, I think uh, that all went really pretty well. So we're jumping ahead here. Um, the foam is all in. Um, putting the foam in was actually kind of fun. Uh, that stuff is um, it's easy to work with, and uh, once you get used to the expansion rate, it's pretty cool. The bilge areas are um, been, they've been painted with uh, gel coat, um, just a real simple um, slap it on coat uh, to try and keep everything clean. And you briefly saw the um, angle irons there in the motor room. 
for uh, mounting the new motor. So the deck is on now. The deck is half inch PVC, uh, the kind of PVC that you get at the home center. Uh, there's a layer of 1708 fiberglass on the bottom of it. Um, you can see the bolts there. Um, I used elevator bolts for uh, mounting the helm chairs and there's also elevator bolts there uh, which are positioned to hold down the battery boxes. You can see there's um, holes cut in for floor hatches in the ski locker and in the new locker that um, used to be where the fuel tank was. I laid out another layer 1708, um, got all that cut to size and um, and fiberglass that in. Uh, once again, that all went pretty well. It's um, you know I've got it tabbed up into the sides there, and uh, that turned out to be a really rock solid installation. So. Um, this is it. This is the first week in November of um, 2021. Um, I put a coat of gel coat um, on the deck after the uh, fiberglass uh, was installed. Gel coated the walls of the motor room. Um, once again you can see the uh, bolts there for uh, mounting the battery boxes. But uh, just put a coat of white on uh, for reflectivity and uh, want to keep everything nice. So here we go. We're going to get started with the fun stuff. <laughs> 